Assalamu alaikum. Hi guys. This is Saji back with another video. So in this our series of Java tutorial, um, we have covered many topics by now, and today I'm very happy because we are starting object-oriented programming in Java. So I love this part. I love this part. Okay, so let's start this exciting journey. So what we have here, uh, first we need to see in this short uh, video today, uh, we will not be looking at the code or any examples. Uh, we will have some theory part here. So what is OOP? OOP stands for Objected, Object Oriented Programming. So uh, one thing I want to tell you, Java is not the only one object-oriented programming. This is supported by other programming languages as well. Okay, so there is one way called procedural programming and uh, in which what we do, um, we write procedures or methods that perform operations on data. Over here, what we mean operations on data means data uh, can be some values or variables and uh, methods like we have seen before, some examples where methods uh, add the values or uh, uh, perform maybe some arithmetical operations on them. So what we have now, another thing, like one way of the coding is procedural programming. Now the other way is to do object-oriented programming. So in object-oriented programming, what we do is, it's all about creating objects that contain both data and methods. So how, I mean, maybe this point may not be very clear now from the text explanation only. Uh, when you look at the code, things may be more clear. So anyhow, uh, this is our part of, uh, this is part of our codes to study uh, some theory part here. So object-oriented programming has several advantages our procedural programming. One of them is OOP is faster and easier to execute. OOP provides a clear structure for the programs. Yeah, this is very important. You will see in when you start writing your own code. OOP helps to keep the Java code dry. I mean, dry means don't repeat yourself, makes the code easier to maintain, modify, and debug. So as I said, like in procedural programming, um, you write methods and code uh, which perform operations on data. So there can be some repetition, but in um, uh, object-oriented programming, you don't repeat things. You can have one class and then make objects of it and reuse them like like you can have as many objects as you want with same methods and maybe with different data and you don't have to repeat the code so that means it makes things easier to maintain and modify and debug oop makes it possible to create full reusable applications with less code and shorter development time so whenever you can uh, you reuse something uh, something which you built before and reuse it again um, of course it will um, um, shorten the time of uh, development and you will have definitely less code to work on okay so next uh, important tip is that don't repeat yourself dry principle uh, is about like reducing the repetition of the code you should extract out the codes that are common for the application and place them at a single place and reuse them instead of repeating it right i hope this is clear for you if not it will be in upcoming chapters okay guys here i have an example okay what are classes and objects so classes see, on the left side i'm giving example of a class and the right side are the objects so classes and objects are the two main aspects of object oriented programming don't forget them classes and objects look at the following illustration and uh, see the difference between class and the objects see on the left side we have a class called fruit 
and another we have class called cars okay so you know in the fruits of if in the class i mean it's sort of categorizing things but less classification of the things so we if we have a classification of the fruits there uh, of course there are many type of um fruits like we have apple we have banana we have mango so these things i mean the class fruit is general class and then specific thing like apple banana mango these are the objects which belong to that class so similarly we have objects volvo audi toyota so these are like objects of this class car so these objects will inherit all the methods and data which we have in this class right for example a fruit can have a color so we can define a color but of course for each object the color can be different like apple can be red banana can be yellow and mango can also be yellow so and similarly for these cars we could have some methods and parameters and those parameters can be different but we can have same methods in them so so class is a template you know i mean we can say it. class is a template and object is an instance of a class so when the individual objects are created i mean when we create an object of class car called volvo they inherit all the variables and methods from the class so we for example in this car class we could have some methods and uh, variables in it so when we create uh, like variables could be like number of doors number of uh, the color of the car number of wheels and some other functions right so these are variables and methods um, are inherited by the object right from that particular class so and we so i hope yeah um i've tried to explain i hope you uh, at this point in time you understand a little bit about like what the concept is but but please keep remember the class and the objects this terminology and this relationship or illustration is very important but you will learn much more about that in upcoming um, chapters about classing as an object and when you create the objects yourself you will be clear about like what does it mean to inherit methods and data from the class in the objects and what does it mean to reuse the code i mean because if we have defined a class car and we have different objects of it we don't have to write the car class again and again it means we have already in the car class one time and then we can have different objects of this class and we just need to in uh, in make one instance of the class we don't have to write everything again so we will be reusing existing code so uh, that's all about like our short introduction to what does uh, it mean uh, to have object oriented programming uh, in the upcoming video things will be more clear by that time stay tuned with us please share subscribe and um, share these videos to other friends colleagues who are interested to learn java so i hope this been informative for you i was sajid here with you with another video of java i'll be back soon take care and bye bye